they do is they go to these they go to these jewelers, right? And then when they, they got their career, they, everything is going great, everything. But when their careers start going downhill and everything slows down, because there's always going to be a, a new artist, then they got to sell the jewelry back to the jeweler. Now he may bought the chain for a hundred thousand dollars, but when he gives it back to the jeweler, he only getting forty thousand dollars, so he lost sixty thousand right there. When he could have took that sixty thousand, and, and he, he could have put that as a down payment on earth. earth. No, on a foreclosure. On, he got a foreclosure. So you go out, they, they, everybody think you have, everybody want to be, oh, I got to be in LA. I got to be friends with all the celebrities and all that. I don't need all that. Because guess what? I got to where I got to, believing in me, not having no friends. So, and, that's, and, that, and that's what it takes for any winner. To Absolutely. believe in themselves. Not even rap, not even boxing, not even just when you growing up, just you got to believe in yourself no matter what. You know what I mean? And if you if you want to survive, you want to win, you must believe in yourself. That is very important. And, and, and so the thing is this. A lot of times, like initially, when you when somebody go buy a house, like you go buy a house in Beverly Hills, and people initially, yeah, a person can get the house, but they can't maintain it because the taxes, you, you got to pay, the taxes is crazy. So, like, with me, I, like I said before, you know, when you surround yourself, what makes me so, so smart as well as intelligent when it's things that I don't know, I'm going to hire a person around me that does know. So, and, and that person has to have a lot of experience and what they're doing also, you know what I'm saying? So you go, you, you, you go through some, you know, you go through ups and downs and you know, as far as like what, what my real estate portfolio is crazy. You know, my house, my, you know, my house in Miami, since I've been retired, you know, I just bought a $22 million house in Miami while I'm retired. So like I said before, I got intangible income. And so when you're dealing with, 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 with true businessmen, you gonna has always this guy, has this guy Al Heyman helped you a lot and in, in, in like guiding you like the because I my, know you that's uh, my that's my father. That's what I'm saying. That's Everybody talks so incredible about Al Heyman. Can you tell me about this guy, man? Because the, okay. they say beautiful things about this guy. Well, if nobody don't know. Everybody know he's the original because I, I gave him his name years ago. You know, that's the original ghost. I gave him that name years ago. So what happened was this. He plays chess and he don't he don't like to be seen. He play he played a background, but he's un he's unbelievable, unreal. I mean anything that you want to do, I don't care what it is. So when when Al stopped doing Al was just dealing with because he he he, had, he was doing concerts. He was doing concerts back in the in the late seventies, and and driving Rolls Royces in nineteen eighty. So what happened was he got I mean he done deals with Budweiser. He done the biggest the biggest deals. He done some of the Bud biggest superfests and all that. Budweiser Superfest, Michael Jackson. I mean the list goes. The, I mean the list goes on and on. But at one point, he had stopped dealing with rap, rap music. But then when he got with me, I said, you know what? We could do the Little Way I Am Money tour. We done, we had, we had done, we done that tour. So a lot of tours that Al do, I'm still involved. So it's a lot of things that goes on in music still right now that I'm involved in. And a lot of other businesses that I own, a lot of buildings and different things that I own that I don't even talk about. So even like when... Well, you know, you know what, Floyd? You know what? I know you too humble, and I know you take care of a lot of people. Uh, I do know that you paid for George Floyd's funeral. Yes. And why did you feel like you had to do that? And what made you feel like I got to represent for this man and his family? 
when for number one, his name is Floyd. I mean, he got Floyd in his name. <laughs> That's just for starters. But um, actually, man, um, because they say actions speak louder than words. So everybody always getting out there, oh, this or this, I, I, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be a professional because a lot of businesses that got tore up are businesses that I own. Mm. But, but I don't speak on that, you know. Um, we live and we learn. And my thing is this. We have to, we, the thing is, we doing a lot of talking, but like I said, it's all about actions. You know, you got, you got artists, different artists out there talking about a lot of artists and, 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 and there's no disrespect to no artists. You got artists that say, kill us, you know, kill us N-I-G-G-A, kill us N-I-G-G-A. Mm -hmm. But then you, you'll say that on your, on your song, but then you say, uh, uh, but then when they doing it, then it's, it's more like, it's like, an oxymoron, because you got these young kids, they listen to what y'all saying, they going out there doing what y'all say do. So we got to really be careful with what we say in this music nowadays, because these kids follow what these artists say. Mm -hmm. And what I would say to the young generation is, let your mother and your father, uh, if they doing something positive, I mean, the, let your mother and your father be your role model. That's right. Yeah, and because and, and, the music, you know, music is, is, is art. You know, uh, music is art. So It's entertainment. Uh, you know, I it, personally feel like it's entertainment. Don't live your life beyond the music. But I feel like we have freedom of speech and we can say whatever we want. But I get what you're saying. A lot of people are small-minded and they might follow the wrong message. So I get what you're saying. Yeah. Right? Um... But, but but my thing is this, I love, you know, I love the hip hop world and I want to live, hip hop is going to live on and I love it and I will continue to support all the hip hop artists out there. I want to see them do good because the hip hop would you world. Ever, would you ever fight Conor McGregor again? Um, is that the biggest, pay? I know you're the biggest paid guy, but is that the biggest attraction? If Floyd Mayweather says, I'll fight anybody, what would be the biggest shit in the world? Well, I'm a businessman now. You know, I already proved years and years ago that I was the best, period. I'm talking about pound for pound. I already proved all that. We so know at, that. My, at my age now, I'm a businessman. So I'm not going to be out there competing and fighting guys that only got a small city behind them. Like, you know, you got a lot of American fighters good, but they got little cities behind them. I'm going to fight guys that got a whole country behind them. So I know I can demand and get what I want to get. So that's Pacquiao? He don't, listen, he don't, I made more with McGregor. Let me ask you a question. I, listen, Pacquiao yeah, fight. Guess what? I don't, Everybody, I, hold up, hold up, hold up. No, 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 hold up, hold up. No, no, hold up. Once again, my faculties and, and everything that I got comes first. We just talked about your health is your wealth. That's right. You know, and that's why I got this towel on. I was working out today. Now, Pacquiao fight because he have to. Mm, I know that. Once again, I fight if I want to. So there's a difference. The question so, is, let me, let me go back to this because it's this real important. And I'm only going to big you up with this. I've always wondered, and everybody always said, why Floyd ain't fight Pacquiao at his prime? Why they wasn't in they both they prime? I've always heard a rumor that you just didn't want to get no money. You didn't want to give no money to Bob or Aaron. I heard you, he tried to take advantage of you allegedly when, when you was younger, and yes. you worked your way out that contract, and then you, you became your own boss from there on and wind up becoming the billionaire that we know. Could you elaborate? Was that the main reason why you didn't fight Pacquiao at your prime at the same time? Well, y'all, you keep on saying, we keep on saying at, at our prime, I'm older than Pacquiao by two years. So we keep, we keep on saying in your prime. So 
when I beat Pacquiao, they say he went in his prime. I'm older than you. And then when I fought Oscar mm -hmm. Delahoy, they said about um, he's oh we only me and Pacquiao, me and, pa me and Oscar, we both was in our thirties. So they keep on like no matter what happens in this, it's never good enough for anyone. I get so, it. So as long as I'm happy, that's what's important. And what happened with the fight was this. Remember, I was a pioneer of random blood and urine testing for all athletes so we all can be on an even playing field. That's right. I feel like everybody should be on an even playing field. We, we all should be equal. That's right. No matter, and that's the same thing that our people is fighting for right now, meaning that we, we, we just want to be treated like everybody else. Don't, don't judge me for the color of my skin because I'm not judging you for the color of your skin. That's right. And, That's and, right. And, and, and it works just like this. When mm -hmm. Conor McGregor said disrespectful stuff, talk about dance boy, dance, and caught, caught us monkeys, said dance boy, nobody got behind Floyd Mayweather. You know, this, this is so crazy. Like I said before, either, and, and, and when, when it's racism amongst blacks, it's called colorism. So mm. it's racism amongst our people. And of course. Right now. Everywhere. So, if you watch the, the day, TV, what, what, they only got blonde hair, blue eyed people on Univision right now. But it's what colorism I'm gonna, what for I'm, every race. That's why every day when I get up, I'm happy because you know what? I did it for myself and I did it for my, my children. And I, I, I made sacrifices. Hey, you think I, Don King got IG? You said who? You think Don King has IG? Instagram? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't I'm know. I'm fucking with you, Chad. I'm oh. fucking with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, think... in today's time, because in today's time, you just don't know. You just, you just don't know. Let me tell you, uh, Chad, your top five goat rappers of all time. We need that here, and you can't skate. You can't dance. You can't do the shoulder roll. Besides Fat Joe, who's your top five rappers of all time? <laughs> oh, shit. What? Do, do, do we, we, we get to put rap groups in there? Yeah, you could. What, you could put well, a you rap got, group well, in there. My thing is Well, Run DMC has to go on everybody's list. You know why? Run DMC has to go on everybody's list. Cameron uh, said that yesterday. Huh? He got Run DMC in his top five. You got to have Run DMC. Um, are we talking about who, 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 who shook the game up? Now, who you think is top five? Go, the MJ, the fucking uh, uh, Floyd Mayweather of rap. Man, you putting you putting a you put me in a tough predicament, man. Yeah, yeah, but you know that this ain't a popularity thing. I, I, got, I, you I, I got I got I got I got I gotta go I got I gotta go notorious B. I. G. That's right. I gotta go notorious B. I. G. And then you got um I mean just I mean on the on the West Coast that whole that whole NWA made that because you gotta go like so I got. I'm gonna go NWA. I don't want to, but, but you got to add Snoop into that NWA. You're messing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, you jerking me, man. Floyd, I can't. You cut. You caught. You that. That's five more guys, man. Like, no, it's not because NWA is a is a group. One. Yeah, you group, always make the rules. So you got Run DMC, you got Biggie, and you got NWA. I got. I gotta have NWA because you. Oh no no no. no. No, no, and, and MWA uh, is the greatest oh, group see. of all time, man. Because they made they made that West, but you know what? They the greatest you know, group of you all know, time. You know who don't really get props though. You know who really don't get props? Who's been independent from day one? I'm at, we don't ever get independent artists props. So I'm at, I'm gonna have to give people like Too Short some props because. You know why? Because he's been independent from but I'm ever, about, since 88. He's been independent since 88. 
So we, we don't we don't talk about stuff like that. I mean, it's, it, that's like he he was on some poor, he was on some like some Floyd Mayweather stuff. No, he's still chilling. He can't. I, I hung out with him a couple of months ago before the COVID. He's still too short. Like, and you know, and then and then we got and then down and then down in Florida we got it's so many down because because you know two live crew made it. Music big down in Florida. I mean, I can't, man. You put me in a tough, and you, you put me in a tough predicament. You got four. You got Run DMC. You got NWA. You got, you got uh, Biggie. You got Too Short. Give me one more. One more. Oh man, I gotta go, Lil Wayne. I agree. You can't, you can't, that, that boy's something special. Oh, no, he's beyond special. <laughs> that boy's something special. He's beyond special, and they get mad at me because I always say he influenced this whole generation. Man, that, when that, I say, I don't when know I say that, that they get mad at me like I'm hating, but I'm like, yo, Lil well, Wayne you, is single-handedly the blueprint. Well, you know, in, to, you know, in, today's, in today's time with the artists, the artists need to be able to make their hook first, and then you you make your song off 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 the hook. You they they make they make songs that don't have nothing to do with the hook. Let me not you thought that was hard, right? So you said Little Wayne, they all over the place. Too short, Run DMC, and NWA. I let you cheat on too, but listen, I'm gonna make it harder. Who are the five greatest boxes of all time? <laughs> <laughs> no shoulder roll. Yo, Floyd, I, heard, I heard people in the background, your crew was like, oh my God. No shoulder. A-R-L Floyd. Yo, Floyd, none of this shit right here. No well, you know. No shoulder roll. Who's the five greatest boxes of all time? We're we, we going to have to go. We gonna have to go Money Mayweather, and hey, let's go four more. We gotta go. Okay, we go Money Mayweather. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Pernell Whitaker. Ooh, Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea was amazing, man. We gotta go. Pernell Whitaker. Nah, Sweet Pea was stop. Nah, Sweet Pea real boy. Pernell nah, Whitaker. Yeah, I'm with you. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Pernell Whitaker. I'm gonna go. Roberto Duran. Oof. Yes. I'm gonna go for Nell Whitaker. For Uh Roberto Duran. Man, you put me on top of dick me. <laughs> Gotta hear it. Far as with the heavyweights. Uh, no, I, oh, man. Tell him no hits. Tell the crew no hits. No hits. No I, hits. I, 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 want, I want the pure. Floyd Mayweather top five. I don't want nobody giving no no ad libs and shit. Okay, well I got. Well I know I got. I know I got. Money you Mayweather. Know, you got Duran and you got Sweet Pea. You got two more. Give so me a heavyweight. If we gonna well, if we gonna go heavyweights, if we gonna go heavyweights. Um, I, I, I'm gonna be honest. I got, I got to go, Larry Holmes. Ooh, that was a good one, Larry Holmes. Now I don't take Larry over Tyson. I don't take Larry over Lennox. I, I'm, I'm just keeping it real. I don't. I, I. But, but do you, do you want me to give you the breakdown? I mean, give me the breakdown because I gotta understand this one. And Larry Holmes is a living legend. I grew up watching him. I grew Larry up watching him because Larry Holmes beat everybody in this era. When Larry Holmes got beat by Mike Tyson. He got beat by a, 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 a young, a young hungry champion, and he came out of he came out of years of retirement, and got beat by Tyson. George, when, when, George, when, when Larry, George, George, when Larry, George, uh, uh, what was the foreman grill? He came back fifty years old and bust on my homeboy's ass. Who? Uh, the, your man that was nice with the left. The, the, George Foreman came like fifty no, no, years no, no, old. No. no. He knocked out a guy that went up. Uh, uh, he knocked out a, a light heavyweight that he went nice, up to heavyweight, Michael Moore. Michael Moore really, was nice. But he never really had no chance. But George Foreman fought and thrilled in Manila. 
and came yeah, but, back but, an old man. But listen, in heavyweight, heavyweight is a little different from, from the smaller guy. Yeah. Because yeah, you just as long as you got that punch. And you know, he got dynamite in his gloves. But I, but I but I got I gotta give it, I gotta say Larry so Holmes. So you say Larry Holmes, why you break down um Larry Holmes? That man had to he had he had the the the, the basic fundamentals. He had the jab. He had the jab. And even right now, he he's he's still living a great life because he made smart investments. So he was good from the beginning of his career to the end of his career. So this man, I mean, and then Larry Holmes came back and beat a lot of young guys too. Even though Tyson got him, he beat Ray Mercer. He beat he a young beat Ray, Ray Mercer. Mercer. Remember Ray Mercer? He hit hard as a motherfucker. Yes. What was his nickname? Ray Boom Boom Mercer. Some, some Merciless. Merciless. <laughs> Merciless. The Merciless one. Yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, Ray Mercer. That motherfucker hit hard, boy. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. All right, you got one more. Never. Oh, man. Aaron Pryor. Yeah. Aaron Pryor. Aaron Pryor was good. He was good. Aaron Pryor was good. But the, o the only reason why Aaron Pryor lost the fight was because of drugs. He lost only one fight because of drugs. Yeah. And you know that's that's what bothers me. Shout out my little man. I see him on here. I got a little man, Puerto Rican. His name is uh Edgar Balanga. He just knocked somebody out on ESPN. He's 14 and no, 14 knockouts first round. Congratulations. And as 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 just being an OG, because I don't make no money with him or nothing. You know, I try to tell him, you know, stay focused. He's focused and everything. But, you know, this game, man, we watch so many people come up. And the minute they get to where they almost could be, they fuck it up going to these clubs, the strippers, the this, the that, you know, man. And 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 it's and it's hard, man, because I know the lifestyle is crazy. Everybody jump on you, but you gotta stay focused if you want to be a champion and want to be great. You know, it, it it's the truth. My my, let me tell you something. I got money Mayweather. I got Tito Trinidad. I got Muhammad Ali. I got I am Mike Tyson. And I say Sugar Ray Leonard. Yes. But Sugar Ray Leonard first loss. Sugar Ray Leonard was a watchweight. He got beat by Roberto Duran, who was a lightweight. <laughs> no, no, but that, but Roberto Duran quit. And I don't know. No, 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 no. He quit in the second fight. Right. But he quit. quit. No, he I don't, don't want to disrespect nobody. No. Because in he was Mano de Pierra. He was the man, but he quit. Okay, let me, let me tell you what Roberto Duran. Let me Durant, tell you what, what, let what, me know. Roberto Duran went from 135 pounds. All the way to like uh, to to one sixty. Let me see, one thirty-five. He went at one thirty-five. I think one forty-seven, one fifty-four, and one sixty. So I think, you you four, the, I think it was the four the, way class. Let me tell you one of the saddest moments of my life. My but hold on, you do know you know Sugar Ray's first loss was to Roberto Durant. I know that. Okay, I know that. But let me explain something to you. Uh, one of the one of the worst moments in my life, one of the saddest moments in my life. My sister passed away, but when we was a little kid, I was like eight years old. Some boy was picking on her. He was maybe like 13, 14. And she called me. And I rushed him. And he body slammed me. Then I rushed him. And he tripped me. Then I rushed him. He punched me in my face. I fell on the floor. I rushed him like eight times. And I remember looking at my sister. This guy's bigger than me. This is still a nightmare. And I said, Mama, Lisa, I can't. I can't. I can't. This moment haunts me to this day as a grown man where I had to look at my sister and say, I can't. 
I can't, mama. The man body slammed me 10 times in a row. I can't, Lise. I, it haunts me to this day. So when somebody gives up, I can't, champ. I just, I'm going to be honest with you. I can't. The man I'm gave up. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell everybody on this, on the social media platform. Oh, no, this is the biggest show in the game. Hold on. But I'm, money make, don't get it. This I'm, is I'm, the I'm, biggest I'm, 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 show. I'm, I'm going to tell everybody something about this. Ain't nobody messing with this shit. No, I'm going I'm I'm to tell you something real on this social media platform. So for everybody can know this. You play baseball. You play basketball. You play football. You don't play boxing. That's a different creature. That right there will make anybody quit. That fight game is different. You know why? Because when a basketball player get hurt, he could take three and four weeks off. When you in the fight and you get hurt, you got to keep fighting. Ain't no, ain't no, let me go sit on the bench. You go in for me. I win the chip. You sit on the bench the whole year and you get a ring and you ain't done shit. Oh, you can't play boxing. You can't play box. That's a different creature. Let me, tell make you something. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Look, I watch this shit. You know, they, I love when they do the little uh, where you come from, how you training, shit like this. So they get a guy to play from the Bronx. He, he box up from the Bronx. He tough. And I know his family. And I'm like, yo, this guy tough as hell. He come from the projects. And then they play the other guy's story. And they be like, this guy runs up mountains every day. He ate rocks for dinner. He this, this, that. I'm like, yo, this guy got a problem. These boxing is an even playing field. These guys come from nothing. I'll get all of them. I'm back, Joe. I said, I love when they tell a story behind the boxes. So yeah. I see a guy, he from the Bronx, I'm going for him, and he come from the projects, and he tough. And then he wind up fighting somebody who run up mountains and ate rocks for dinner. I be like, yo, this Curtis. guy got a problem on his hands. You ain't hear me, champ, huh? Somebody, somebody bothering me, Joe, my fault. I know, I know, don't worry about it. I mean, let me tell you something, man. I love you, champ. I know Joe, you're my brother, I love you too. I know you give back to so many people, man. And I know you don't talk about it. You're mm -hmm. a beautiful person. Uh, whatever you do in life, I'm here to support. One hey, hey, million hey, hey, percent. Hey, Joe, I want to say thank I want to say thank you for that gift, too. You know what I'm talking about. That's you know what I'm saying. That gift, that, that real expensive gift you got me in Dubai. Thank you. <laughs> They're real, Mayweather, they're real. let me tell you something, man. They're real expensive. I'm going to tell, hey. tell them something, yo. Mayweather, I'm going to tell them something. I saw a jacket one time that only Mayweather could rock in Dubai. I saw it, and it said you all over it. I said, the champ gave us so many beautiful moments. Let me buy him this shit right here. And it looked like a force field on you. Like, that shit. It looked like money Mayweather, man. <laughs> I'm glad I've been able to well, get hey, you hey, Joe, I want to say thank you. And I want to tell I want to say you keep up the good work. Um, you know, tell your son and your family I said hello. Cause I know your son be rocking with you sometime. Yeah. You know, tell him I said hello. Tell the wife I said hello. Tell the family I said hello. And I'm always here for you. You know, it's not you know, I love you. It's nothing but love. And um Call me anytime. I love you, my brother. Thank you so much. Shout out to uh, Kitty and the whole crew. Haul them, everybody. All right? All right. Peace, baby. Money may weather. The biggest in the game. This is real shit here. You don't know who I know. This is the Joe Show. Shout out.